Hello fellas. Welcome back to Top 5 Choices, this is Haley from Top 5 Choices, and I hope you all are doing good, in today's video, I am going to do a detailed review and pick the Top 5 Best Mobile Workstation, 2022. After doing proper researches, we came to the conclusion that meets the best in terms of overall. Kindly leave a like if you find this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications if you haven't. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use it for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. We'll be back with more videos. Dell may complain that we quoted a starting price of $2,449 for the Precision 7560 when you can technically buy one for $1,919, but that model has Intel integrated graphics, so it doesn't qualify as a workstation in our eyes. And not that our eyes could focus on its dim 220 nit display. The real base model combines a 6-core Core i5 CPU, NVIDIA T1200 graphics, and a brighter 1080p screen. A 1080p touchscreen is available, but ours is the top display choice, with no OLED panel on the menu. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth, Windows 10 Pro, and 3 years of on-site service are included. Our unit has both a face recognition webcam and a fingerprint reader, integrated with the power button for Windows Hello Logins. Qualcomm 5G Mobile Broadband is optional. Clad in what Dell calls Titan Gray Aluminum, the Precision 7560 measures 1.08 by 14.2 by 9.5 inches and tips the scales at 5.42 pounds, which is bearable but hardly ultra-portable for a 15.6-inch laptop. It's still considerably trimmer than the ThinkPad P15 Gen 2, which is 1.24 by 14.7 by 9.9 inches and a ponderous 6.32 pounds. The bezels on either side of the screen are quite thin, though the top and bottom bezels are chunkier. Two Thunderbolt for USB-C ports join a smart card slot on the laptop's left edge, with two USB 3.2 Type-A ports, an SD card slot, an audio jack, and a security lock slot at the right. Around the back, you'll find HDMI and mini DisplayPort video outputs, an Ethernet jack, and the power connector. The screen delivers fine details, as you'd expect from a 4K panel, with wide viewing angles and high brightness and contrast. Colors don't quite pop like poster paints, but are rich and well-saturated, white backgrounds are crisp instead of grayish or dingy. Dell Premier Color software lets you choose from vibrant, internet, sRGB, HD video, SD video, custom, or two low blue light color palettes, use an x ray or portrait display's color calibrator, schedule low blue light settings, or arrange app windows in various ways. Only a couple of layout quirks keep the keyboard from a high recommendation. The design of the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo 15 is going to stand out regardless, but there are still a number of standout features that make it a laptop you will want to show off. The chassis is a rugged, solidly built unit with an attractive celestial blue brushed magnesium aluminum finish that is fetching to look at, which is a nice introduction to the rest of the world before it gets a peek at the secondary display that lifts up to a comfortable angle when the lid is open, there isn't a whole lot of airflow intake on the underside, which might make you think this laptop gets especially hot, but we found that wasn't the case thanks to ample venting from the side vents and also from vents underneath the secondary display. Speaking of, the display is taking up a good bit of real estate where the keyboard deck would normally be, so the keyboard and trackpad are pretty cramped down on the bottom half. Writing is the only creative content this laptop is not well suited for, unfortunately the laptop itself is pretty thick, coming in at 0.85 inches, 21.5 millimeters, when closed, and at 5.16 pounds, 2.34 kilograms, it's going to feel like a brick if you take it with you on the go, especially since you're likely to be bringing the power supply, which is an actual brick with some thick cords attached, with you wherever you go, the performance of the ASUS ZenBook Duo Pro 15 UX582L, is one of its major selling points. Though it is also one of the major factors keeping it from taking the creative crown entirely dot on the positive side, the RTX 3070 GPU and Intel Core i9 processor, helped along by 32GB RAM, provide some truly incredible performance on a host of content creation tasks. Opening more than a dozen high-resolution photos in Adobe Photoshop and switching between them quickly while applying filters, editing, cropping, you name it was quick and responsive, especially for a laptop that said, there are better creative workstations out there, like the Gigabyte Aero 17, 2022, that also has a Pantone validated for k OLED display, though slightly larger at 17.3 inches, and which can go as high as an RTX 3080 GPU, which solidly outperforms the RTX 3070 in the ZenBook Duo Pro. 
15 as it should, and whose 64GB RAM scoffs at all your Chrome tabs and Adobe Photoshop canvases. HP has taken the redesign seriously enough to replace the standard HP logo with a slick Z with a Power Ranger looking font on the top cover. The reflective material works well with the Z's unibody chassis made out of aluminum. Out of the box, the Studio G7 feels good in our hand as the laptop has a 22% smaller footprint than the last ZBook. Considering the powerful components housed within the Studio G7, it almost feels like an Ultrabook. A natural salton material is smooth to the touch and also doesn't leave any smug marks. Hefty, yet light enough to hold, the Studio G7 was designed to pass mil-spec testing. This laptop can take a serious beating and runs fine after several short drops on hardwood floors. Something does seem off about the ventilation. Next to the lock slot and single USB-A port is a single side vent alongside outside the bottom fan vents. This means under heavy load, the Studio G7 can get really hot in the lap, even when fans sound as if they are working overtime. After prolonged periods, some may find the laptop a bit uncomfortable if it's not on a table. The Studio G7 has an SD card slot with a cover that may be difficult to remove, especially if you have short fingernails. Above that lies a mini DisplayPort 1.4, two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt and a separate power port. Though many laptop makers are moving to USB-C for charging, it's great to know that one doesn't have to make sacrificial decisions over port management. Once open, the HP ZBook Studio G7 makes a more grand impression. Expect smooth finger movement and tactile presses with one or fingers. Keyboard lighting only has three options, which isn't nearly enough, but that's the extent of the laptop's key layout. Lying down or sitting up, general typing or long Adobe Suite sessions remain comfortable. Typing is also enjoyable even for long periods of time. An option for a fingerprint reader is available and is fairly accurate. The Razer Blade 15 Advanced model is heavy. No getting around it, this is a weighty beast, tipping the scales at just over 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds, and while it's slim enough at 16.99 mm x 235 mm x 355 mm, 0.67 inches by 9.25 inches by 13.98 inches, to not make too big a dent in your bag, it'll certainly make one in your shoulder while you're lugging it around. That said, it's not the densest machine we've ever seen, stand up, the likes of the Asus ROG Zephyrus SGX701 HTTPS colon slash slash www.t3.com slash reviews slash Asus dash ROG dash Zephyrus dash S dash GX701, and the weight it does carry is basically justified, there's an 80 watt hour lithium polymer battery squashed inside, a large vapor chamber system for cooling, and the case itself is rock solid CNC milled anodized aluminium. Our Razer Blade 15 Advanced comes with a 320Hz screen. Frame rates that high are way beyond the limits of the eye and brain, but that's not really the point of a refresh rate increase, this is one of the smoothest panels we've ever seen. We ran it through Blur Buster's entire suite of tests, amusingly, Blur Busters could not actually match the exact refresh rate of the too fast screen, and ghosting, trails and persistence are kept to an absolute minimum no matter how hard it's pushed. Backing that up is a fully muscled core i7-11800H processor, which idles at 2.3 GHz and can boost up to double that speed. Backing slash that slash up is a full quotient of slotted 32GB DDR4 RAM, a seriously quick 1TB M.2 PCIe 4.0 SSD, with an open slot for you to add extra storage, and Intel's seemingly ubiquitous Wi-Fi 6E AX210 package. Top Flight Stuff Expansion potential is also very high, with a pair of Thunderbolt for capable USB Type-C ports, one on each side of the unit, along with three, count M, full-size Type-A ports, a proper HDMI output, a built-in SD card reader, and a combo audio jack. Whatever you want to connect, you'll have room for it be that an external mouse, an extra monitor or three, Type-C charging, or, thanks to Thunderbolt, even some yet-to-be-invented GPU upgrade. Style-wise, the Precision 5530 is one handsome slab. The motif is black brushed aluminum with wraparound chrome accents, and a carbon fiber patterned palm rest and keyboard deck. It measures 0.66 by 14.1 by 9.3 inches, trimmer than a slimline Lenovo ThinkPad P52S, 
$1,546.80 at HP UK, 0.8 by 14.4 by 9.5 inches, let alone a full-size 15.6-inch mobile workstation like the HP ZBook 15 G4, 1.0 by 15.2 by 10.4 inches. The base model squeaks under the 4 pound line at 3.93 pounds, though the test unit I have in hand, with a touchscreen and a larger 97 watt hour battery, is closer to the 4.4 pound P52S dot on the laptop's left side are a headphone jack, a Thunderbolt 3 port, an HDMI port, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A port, we won't mind if you call it a USB 3.0, and the connector for the shirt pocket size AC adapter. On the right are another USB 3.1 Gen 1 port, an SD card slot, a security lock slot, and an XPS-style battery gauge button. I can hear purists harping that a single Thunderbolt 3 port is skimpy compared to the 2 of the ZBook or the 4 of Apple's 15-inch MacBook Pro, but Thunderbolt 3's daisy-chaining abilities help offset that, and you've got to compromise somewhere for a machine this felt. Dell bundles a Thunderbolt to Ethernet dongle in the box.